Hey everybody, BTMC 1984 here again, and today I got a special video for you. Today I will be showing off the next wave in the Hot Wheels 50th Anniversary Collection. This is the HW 50th Original Collection, which pays homage to these five vehicles right here. And how they're paying homage to them is in retro packaging, just like what's being seen in the Hot Wheels Collectors Club uh, Sweet 16 Collection. We get a retro packaging, which includes the car the metal button and a nice uh, retro style artwork with original card design including unpunched uh, peg hole uh, you see this is the 68 Mercury Kruger which is this is its original counterpart now these are not the same toolings as the original cars those the original toolings are more specific to Redline Club but this does feature the same type of feature with an opening hood and a red line tires. Now these are the more uh, modern red line tires they brought back for the red line series that was seen in like Target, Walmart, stuff like that. Uh, they've used it before. Uh, see, there's good detail on it, just like the original painted tail lights, got painted tail lights, uh, painted grill, painted grill, and metal metal. Um, it's really cool about it. Like I said, you get your button. Your uh, classic design here is all five cars, which I'll show off here. And you can see all the back if you want to read it. There you go. And it does come with a, um, like a peel and win type of thing. Now, I picked these up at Fry's Electronics. I did not pick these up off eBay or Instagram or Facebook seller. These were picked up at Fry's Electronics. And just in case anyone doubts that, here is the receipt. Fry's Electronics. I'm not showing off all everything because it's got personal information on it. So that is where I got them. Now, so we got the Mercury Kruger. I'm about to do these a little bit differently. Next up is the Volkswagen Beetle, which is a nice purple color, and this is its original counterpart. See, this is the more modern, revamped car from back in the 80s that they brought this back. Uh, about let's see, trying to see the thing. But 1988 is when they brought the casting back. So this is the original U.S. or is this U.S. or Hong Kong? Uh, this is the U.S. version, which had the engine and sunroof. But a really nice design. I like the kind of a uh, blacked uh, out uh, fenders. Kind of gives a little bit of a custom look. The purple is beautiful on it. It's not the shiny like uh, uh, chrome. As a classic used to be. All right. Next up is my personal favorite, the nineteen seven or the sixty-seven Camaro, or known as the uh, custom Camaro when it was first released. Now this is the only one that sort of retains its original tooling. It was brought back in the nineteen eighty-two line, which had significant changes, but it is basically the same tooling. And this one has the door handles. Uh, not sure if we'll see the door line variant, which was only seen in 2013 with the Summit Camaro. Now this does not have the painted grille, which is unfortunate, but it does have painted taillights, but no painted uh, back panel. Really like it. It does have the blue, light blue interior and blue body, kind of like the this one I have from Hong Kong. And you can see it's got nice the blacked out roof, black stripes, and it will feature the opening hood. Next up is the 60 or the custom 67 Ford Mustang. Now this was also brought back uh, a few years ago. It doesn't really say a date, but I think it was like brought back in the early 90s when they retooled it. But here is its original counterpart. And this is my very first redline car. Uh, from a member off of hwc.com see a little bit different on the design now I don't think that the uh, or there wasn't too many that actually had painted black roofs I think that was more for the club cars but you could see uh, this one okay the, the Mustang is the non opening hood version which is really weird because the original was opening hood and just see the button. And last but certainly not least is the 
67 Hemi Barracuda. Really nice car. Uh, nice green interior. You see the 50th anniversary look, which is on all cars. Got your button. Your design packaging. And here's its original counterpart. Once again, not the same tooling. Uh, the original tooling is in the Redline Club or Hot Wheel Collectors Club uh, version. But it does a pretty good job. This one I'm glad they used and they didn't re-bring like, the King Cuda out or something like that. That one is kind of a messed up design. I'm glad they brought back or used this casting. Represent this casting. So that is what they look like. Uh, just be careful. Now, like I said, this is not the first time that they've done this type of packaging. Way back when, when is it? The, for the 40th anniversary, a little dusty card, they did it for the classics. Which series was this? Series 4 classics. They did a couple of versions of the cards, one being on the uh, regular card, small card, and they did the retro design for 40th anniversary. So 10 years later, uh, this one... Is kind of falling apart, the plastic, of course, but you do get your button. And also, even before that, on the uh, 30th anniversary, they did the shadow boxes, which is kind of similar to what they're doing in the Hot Wheel Collectors thing right now. A few cards got the special treatment. It does have the original card in it. I believe it's got the correct you know, paper backing on it, but it came with the button. 30th anniversary pin, certificate of authenticity, which is really cool. So, it's amazing how far, you know, or what Hot Wheels will do with their anniversary cars. So, you got your 30th, your 40th, and your 50th. So, who knows what the 60th is going to be. Maybe we'll actually get the proper cars. Now, these cars, just to let you know, there's no suspension on them. Uh, like the original cars, these are your basic straight-up axles. You're not going to get any bend or anything like that like the original cars did with the axles. The suspension. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, now, the thing is, these are not scheduled to, I think, about next month. But Forazitronics did put them out early because of the contest. Usually, these cars come out within the contest when it first starts so yeah so these did come out earlier before the street date some people have seen the boxes and it said the street date was 5 19 18 so if you have a fire electronics in your area be on the lookout they are in a shipper and you also get the little checklist which